I'm Anil Kumar and here is another question on limits. Question is evaluate limit when x approaches 25 over 9 for the function square root of x minus 5 over 3 divided by x minus 25 over 9. If I substitute 25 over 9, what do I get? I get square root of 25 over 9 minus 5 over 3 divided by 25 over 9 minus 25 over 9 right? and square root of 25 is 5 square root of 9 is this is 3 3 minus 5 over 3 divided by 25 over 9 minus 25 over 9 which which gives us 0 over 0 so that is the indeterminate form now whenever you have such a situation you could solve by factoring or by variable substitution and whenever we have square root we can also rationalize so we have three different options here you could choose the one which you feel like in such cases uh, let me use two different options at least to show you so we will use uh, rationalization and we will use factoring also you can try variable substitution on your own so these are three popular methods which can help you solve. So factoring, you could treat x as square of square root x. Do you see that? So let me write, rewrite this question so that it becomes very clear how we can factor this and get the answer. So the numerator for us is square root of x minus 5 over 3. And the denominator could be written as square root of x square you understand that is x right minus we could write this as 5 over 3 square you get the point so we have difference of square in the denominator and therefore we could factor this with difference of square formula so we get x approaches 25 over 9 we have square root of x minus 5 over 3 in the numerator and here I could write this as in factored form square root of x minus 5 over 3 times square root of x plus 5 over 3. So we have a common factor that cost 0 over 0, right? It cancels. So we get limit x approaches 25 over 9 and in the numerator we have 1, denominator is square root x plus 5 over 3 substitute 25 over 9 here so we get 1 over square root of 25 over 9 plus 5 over 3 right now when you open this you get 5 over 3 correct? so you get 2 times 5 over 3 so this could be simplified and written as 1 over 5 over 3 plus 5 over 3 which is 1 over 10 over 3 right 10 over 3 or 3 over 10 so 3 over 10 is the limit for this function and you can clearly see how it can be done using factoring now let us do the same question using rationalization so we have limit x approaches 25 over 9 for square root of x plus 5 over 3 and the denominator here is x minus 25 over 9. Let us rationalize the numerator, right, which has the radical part. Conjugate is square root x minus 5 over 3. We'll multiply and divide by square root x minus 5 over 3, both numerator and denominator. With that, what do you get? You'll get difference of squares in the numerator, which is x minus square of 5 over 3, which is 25 over 3 9 sorry square of 3 right and denominator is we have one factor let me write this x minus 25 over 9 this is this factor times square root of x uh, I should have I actually changed it this is minus sorry this was minus this is plus yeah sorry for that mistake this is minus in the equation I kind of changed it yeah so so this is minus and this is plus, yeah, 5 over 3, correct? Now, 
one of these factors cancel out which is this factor and you are left with limit x approaches 25 over 9 1 over square root of x plus 5 over 3 right so you get the same result now you can substitute 25 over 9 here for square root x you get 1 over 5 over 3 plus 5 over 3 and that gives you the answer which is 3 over 10 correct the same thing so that is how you could do using rationalization also so these are good methods to adopt in such cases i hope you got enough practice i'd like you to do some more questions from your book and get ready for your test thank you and all the best